If you die before you die, then you won't die when you die. This quote, engraved at the entrance to St. Paul's Monastery, holds the secret key to spiritual immortality. Let's decipher it together. Welcome to Agrippa's Diary, the gathering place for modern mystics. The ancient mysteries refer to a broad range of spiritual and religious teachings that were practiced by various secret societies and initiatory orders throughout antiquity. These traditions were often shrouded in secrecy, with their true nature and purpose hidden from the uninitiated. While there were numerous ancient mystery schools, some of the most well-known include the Eleusinian Mysteries, the Orphic Mysteries, and the Mithraic Mysteries. At the core of these ancient teachings was the pursuit of personal transformation and the attainment of hidden knowledge or gnosis. The mysteries were designed to lead the initiate through a series of esoteric teachings and ritual experiences, with the ultimate goal of providing profound insight into the nature of existence and the divine. This journey often involved a symbolic death and rebirth, symbolizing the transformation of the individual's soul. The ancient mysteries were deeply rooted in myth and symbolism, using powerful narratives to impart their teachings. The Eleusinian Mysteries The Eleusinian Mysteries were deeply rooted in the myth of Demeter, the goddess of agriculture and fertility, and her daughter Persephone, the goddess of the underworld and vegetation. According to the myth, Hades, the god of the underworld, abducted Persephone, causing Demeter to search for her relentlessly. During this time, the earth became barren, and the gods intervened to reunite the two. As a compromise, Persephone would spend part of the year with Hades and the other part with her mother. This myth symbolized the cycle of life, death and rebirth, as well as the changing seasons. The Initiation Process The initiation process of the Eleusinian Mysteries was divided into two parts, the Lesser Mysteries and the Greater Mysteries. The Lesser Mysteries were held in the spring and served as an introduction to the teachings and rites of Eleusis. They were also a time of purification and preparation for the Greater Mysteries, which took place in the fall. During the Greater Mysteries, the initiates, known as Maistai, participated in a series of sacred rites and ceremonies that took place over several days. These included a procession from Athens to Eleusis, a ritual bath in the sea, the sacrifice of a pig, and the sharing of a sacred barley drink called Kaikion. The climax of the initiation was the Epoptia, or the moment of revelation, during which the initiates were said to experience a vision of the divine, the Telesterion and the Hierophant. The central ritual location for the Eleusinian Mysteries was the Telesterion, a large hall within the sanctuary of Demeter and Persephone at Eleusis. The Telesterion was designed to accommodate a large number of initiates and featured an Anactoron, a smaller, more sacred chamber where the most secretive rites took place. The Hierophant, a high-ranking priest, presided over the Eleusinian Mysteries. He played a crucial role in the initiation process, leading the initiates through various rituals revealing the sacred objects, and imparting secret teaching. The Legacy of the Eleusinian Mysteries Despite the secrecy surrounding the Eleusinian Mysteries, their impact on ancient Greek culture and Western spirituality is significant. Many prominent ancient figures such as Socrates, Plato and Cicero were believed to have been initiates, and they praised the transformative power of the Eleusinian experience. The Eleusinian Mysteries endured for nearly 2,000 years, from the Mycenaean period until the 4th century CE. In 170 AD, the Temple of Demeter was sacked by the Sarmatians, but was rebuilt by Marcus Aurelius. The famous Stoic Emperor was then allowed to become the only layperson ever to enter the Anactoron. As Christianity gained in popularity in the 4th and 5th centuries, Eleusis's prestige began to fade. The last pagan emperor of Rome, Julian, reigned from 361 to 363, after about 50 years of Christian rule. Julian attempted to restore the Eleusinian Mysteries and was the last emperor to be initiated into them. The closing of the Eleusinian Mysteries in 392 AD by the Emperor Theodosius I is reported by Eunapius, a historian and biographer of the Greek philosophers. Eunapius had been initiated by the last legitimate hierophant, who had been commissioned by the Emperor Julian to restore the Mysteries, which had by then fallen into decay. According to Eunapius, the last Hierophant was a usurper, the man from Thespiae, who held the rank of father in the mysteries of Mithras. 
In 396, during his raiding campaign in Attica, the King of the Goths, Alaric I, accompanied by Christian monks in their dark robes, looted the remains of the shrines. The Orphic Mysteries The central figure of the Orphic Mysteries was Orpheus, a legendary poet, musician, and prophet from ancient Greek mythology. Orpheus was said to possess divine knowledge, having learned the secrets of the gods from his parents, the muse Calliope and the Thracian king Oeagrus. Orpheus was renowned for his ability to charm all living beings and even inanimate objects with his music, playing the lyre given to him by Apollo. The most famous myth associated with Orpheus is his descent into the underworld to retrieve his wife, Eurydice, who had died from a snake bite. Orpheus charmed Hades, the god of the underworld, and his wife Persephone with his music, convincing them to allow Eurydice to return to the world of the living. However, Orpheus failed to follow the condition set by Hades that he should not look back at Eurydice until they had both emerged from the underworld, causing her to vanish back into the realm of the dead. Orphic Cosmology and Doctrine The Orphic teachings presented a unique cosmology and doctrine that distinguished them from other Greek religious traditions. Central to the Orphic cosmogony was the story of the primordial god, Phanes, who emerged from the cosmic egg and set the process of creation in motion. In some versions, Phanes was identified with the god Dionysus, who was dismembered by the Titans and later reborn from the ashes of their destruction. The Orphic doctrine emphasized the dual nature of the soul, with one part being divine and eternal, and the other being earthly and subject to the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. This belief in the transmigration of souls set the Orphic tradition apart from mainstream Greek religion and influenced later philosophical schools, such as Pythagoreanism and Platonism. Orphic Practices and Rituals Orphic initiates adhered to a strict lifestyle that included dietary restrictions, such as abstaining from eating meat and beans, and they wore white linen clothing as a symbol of purity. They sought to cultivate a life of virtue and contemplation, engaging in regular rituals, prayers, and meditation to purify their souls and achieve spiritual liberation. The rites of the Orphic mysteries were focused on the individual's journey toward enlightenment and the purification of the soul. Rituals often involved the use of music, poetry, and sacred texts, known as the Orphic Hymns. The initiates also participated in ceremonies that symbolically enacted the myths of Orpheus and Dionysus, which served as metaphors for the soul's quest for liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The Legacy of the Orphic Mysteries The Orphic Mysteries left a lasting impact on ancient Greek philosophy and the development of Western esotericism. Their teachings on the nature of the soul and the afterlife influenced major philosophical figures such as Pythagoras, Plato, and Plotinus, who incorporated Orphic ideas into their own philosophical systems. Although the Orphic mysteries as a distinct tradition faded over time, their legacy endures in the form of their influence on later spiritual and philosophical movements. The Cult of Mithras The Mithraic mysteries centered on the worship of the god Mithras, who was initially associated with the ancient Persian god Mithra, a deity of contracts and oaths. As the religion spread westward, particularly during the Roman Empire, it underwent a process of syncretism and evolved into a distinct mystery cult. Mithraism was particularly popular among Roman soldiers and became widespread throughout the empire, from Britain to North Africa and the eastern provinces. Mithras was often depicted in the act of slaying a sacred bull an image known as the Tauroctony. This symbolic act represented the triumph of light over darkness, the struggle between good and evil, and the regeneration of life. In Mithraic cosmology, Mithras was seen as a cosmic savior figure, responsible for maintaining the order of the universe and ensuring the victory of light over the forces of chaos. Initiation and the Seven Grades The initiation process in the Mithraic mysteries involved a series of seven grades each associated with a different planet and level of spiritual attainment. These grades, in ascending order, were the following. Corax, or Raven, associated with Mercury, Nymphus, or Bridegroom, associated with Venus, Miles, or Soldier, associated with Mars, Leo, or Lion, associated with Jupiter, Perses, or Persian, associated with the Moon, Heliodromus, or Sunrunner, associated with the Sun, Pater, or Father, associated with Saturn, 
Initiates progress through these grades by participating in various rituals and ceremonies designed to impart sacred knowledge and wisdom. Some of these rituals included a ritualistic meal, which symbolized the sharing of divine sustenance, a baptism-like purification, and the reenactment of the sacred bull-slaying myth. Mithria and Mithraic Iconography Mithraic temples, called Mithria, were typically built underground or in secluded locations, reflecting the secretive nature of the cult and the belief in a cosmic struggle between light and darkness. The architecture of the Mithria often included a central aisle with raised platforms on either side, where initiates would recline during the ritual meal. At the far end of the temple, a relief or fresco depicting the Tauroctony would be prominently displayed. Mithraic iconography often featured astrological and cosmological symbolism, reflecting the cult's connection to the celestial bodies and their influence on human affairs. Additionally, Mithraic art and inscriptions frequently included references to the seven grades of initiation and the various associated symbols, such as the raven, the lion, and the sun. The Legacy of the Mithraic Mysteries The Mithraic Mysteries thrived in the Roman Empire from the 1st to the 4th century CE, but declined as Christianity became the dominant religion. While many aspects of Mithraism remain shrouded in mystery due to the secretive nature of the cult, its influence can be seen in the development of Western esotericism and the study of ancient religions. As we conclude our exploration of the Eleusinian, Orphic, and Mithraic mysteries, it is essential to recognize the profound influence these ancient teachings have had on the formation and development of modern secret societies. These ancient mystery schools laid the foundation for understanding the nature of the divine, the pursuit of personal transformation, and the quest for hidden knowledge. Many modern secret societies have integrated and adapted the teachings of these ancient mysteries, drawing upon their rich symbolism and esoteric wisdom to create their own initiatory rites, rituals, and doctrines. Some examples of secret societies influenced by the ancient mysteries include the Freemasons, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, and the Rosicrucians. If you want to delve deeper into the world of ancient wisdom and esotericism, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. And if you want to support our mission to unearth and decipher the forgotten teachings of the ancient mysteries and the encrypted knowledge of Western esotericism, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Until next time, continue to seek out the light. End to pan.